Well, hi folks, this is Darren with My RV Works. Uh, we are uh, taking some time, it's dark, it's late. We're taking some time to just kind of get in here and answer some questions that folks had for us. Uh, they'll answer, they'll, they'll leave comment questions or they'll send us text messages or an email or something like that. So we get them a bunch of different ways. I haven't had a carrier pigeon come by lately, but anyway, sometimes we get these questions from folks and there are things that we can do that we can help you guys out and no charge for anybody just to kind of sew back into the RV community. So here's one that's coming from James it involves his uh, refrigerator. Yeah, so it involves his refrigerator. And so it's a real short, quick question. He says, uh, when he's plugged his motorhome into AC shore power, um, his refrigerator starts out great on AC. Uh, but then at some point, the thing switches over and um, the AC light switches over to gas. And, um, and I'm assuming that the refrigerator at that point will then run on gas. And so obviously his question is, what's going on with that? And um, this really simple bottom line answer is that your control board on your refrigerator did not detect AC power. Even though you have AC power feeding it that you take with your meter, the board itself did not detect it. And that's what's key. Um, so how would you troubleshoot that? Um, you can, if you, if you have a meter, uh, a lot of these things require meters in order to test because that's how we're able to see into the AC circuits and see into the DC circuits. It's kind of like going to a foreign country and not knowing the language and you might have a translator with you. And so the translator could help translate that language to the, your your language to help understand like, oh, a cheeseburger, okay, cool, with bacon, outstanding, okay, good deal. Um, so the meter, your electrical meter is basically that translator. He's going to help uh, translate your language of eyeballs and numbers into what's in that circuit. So we're going to take your meter and when your refrigerator, uh, is, now you're going to go to the back of your refrigerator, you're going to take the cover off. Um, the cover, the, the main access cover with the two little knobby screws, you're going to pull that thing off and then you're going to see your control board there. Usually it's on the left hand side, but sometimes they're on the right, depending on, you don't tell me what kind of refrigerator you have, except Dometic. Okay, you got a Royale. Okay, so yeah, you've got the older style uh, refrigerator. So that um, control board, I've got one right over here. I can actually show you what I'm talking about. Um, it's been, a, it, I use it as my stunt um, refrigerator and it finally failed. So now I have a failed refrigerator, which we can still do work with and show you how to diagnose failed refrigerator. So I'm glad that it failed. Well, I'm not glad that it failed, but it gives me an opportunity. Anyway, I'm rambling. Um, so that control board is going to be on the left-hand side. You're going to take one screw off the top and then those little tangs you're going to pull off and the cover comes off. On the left-hand side, you're going to see a glass fuse. And what I want you to do is I want you to take your meter on the, on just to the right of that control board, there's going to be a stud that sticks out of the back that's kind of welded or whatever to the back body of that refrigerator. So you're going to take your meter, you're going to take your black lead, connect it to the same ground that the refrigerator is considering ground. You're not going to cut some ground someplace else. Okay, because your problem may be a ground issue. It could be loose wires on your ground, okay? But on the AC, you're going to get it coming from the receptacle there, and it's going to go right into your board right there. So that AC side is pretty much self-contained. But anyway, you are going to take your ground lead because the green wire out of your AC cord is also going to go over to that ground lead. So let's use ground all the way across, and we're going to make sure that that's nut, that all those little eyelets, wires are under, is really nice and tight and not corroded. So we're going to take our black lead and we're going to connect it to that ground lead. Our red lead, we're going to take that and we're going to check both sides of that fuse to make sure that fuse is good. You want 120 both on both sides of that fuse. Don't make me a liar, but I think it's a 5 amp glass fuse. Um, now, here's the next thing. When your refrigerator... You're going to start off on AC. When your refrigerator, you notice that it switched over to, AC, to, uh, to gas or LP, at that point, go back out and check it again. Do you still have 120 volts on both sides of that glass fuse? Um, if you do, then the board, if you don't, then why? Okay, there's a problem. You got to go track upstream. Maybe there's something going on upstream from your refrigerator that's not getting AC power to that receptacle that your refrigerator is plugged into. So that's upstream. But if you are getting AC power there, but your refrigerator switched over to gas, I might at that point start to suspect the board is bad. I really may. Um, because the board's getting AC power. So why does it not detect it? So something may have happened to that board. One thing that I've mentioned I was going to do and I haven't done yet, but I, I will get around to it, um, is to show to do a video on how to diagnose that upper eyebrow board because it could be the upper board or it could be the lower board. The eyebrow board on the inside, the one that you see with the little push buttons, or the one down below. Um, in all my years of working on these things, it's been very rare for the upper eyebrow board to fail. But I will do a video on how to diagnose those. I have the refrigerator right over here I was telling you about. 
and I can do a video on how to diagnose those boards. Um, that would be specific to this model of air con uh, refrigerator. Um, and then if I can get my whole, a hold of a, a, a Norcold refrigerator, maybe I'll do one on how to diagnose those as well. But e the reason your refrigerator is switching over to AC is, uh, from, from AC to LP is simply because the board is not detecting AC, so it switches itself over. So you, my friend, have to determine, is the board in fact getting AC? Uh, if the board is getting AC, at that point, I might suspect the board might be bad, internal. Um, and... Um, that would be your low-hanging fruit, go, no-go type thing. If I was there, I would go a little bit deeper in the diagnosis, but um, we do have on our website, we have a manual uh, section where there's all kinds of manuals on refrigerators. So, and I know I have that refrigerator manual in there. Um, uh, it's towards the top of the list of manuals and uh, it's, these are service manuals and everything I'm saying will be located in there too, plus much, much more. So, all right, James. Hey, hope that helps, brother. And um, if this was, give us a thumb up share comments back and let, let us know what you found. So um, happy camper, say my river works and hopefully you can become a happy camper by figuring this one out too. So without any further ado, I'm going to let you guys go and I'll get on to the rest of my evening. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> so this is Darren signing off till the next video. Thanks for watching guys.